We all know that exercise is healthy and that medications can be dangerous and even deadly at times. Just watch a television commercial and you'll know all the side effects that medications can have, or some of them, which is why the results of a new British study are so important. It turns out that exercise is just as effective in treating heart disease and type 2 diabetes and even more effective than medications in treating a stroke. So let's talk about this study. Well, this is really something that people should take a look at because we've got so over-medicated in this country, Vicki, that we think about a symptom and the reflex, for, especially for a doctor, to think of what drug can I use to solve that problem? And you're right. Research has been done now, and the research that's been done is out of, uh, out of the School of London uh, of Medical School, out of Harvard and Stanford Medical Schools. And what they did is they looked at 340,000 patients and 305 studies. So this is a retrospective uh, analysis of how effective exercise in, is in treating these conditions. And they found exactly what Vicki said, which was a surprise to a lot of people, but not so much to us, because we know the power of exercise. Well, you know, with cardiovascular disease being the number one killer in the world, killing 17 million people a year, and physical inactivity being the, the fourth risk factor for uh, global mortality, we really need to exercise well, more. Well, what happened is, is we've gotten fat and we've gotten lazy and we've, we've, a lot of us have become couch potatoes. And if it wasn't that two-thirds of America is overweight and somewhere around a third is obese, we're looking at a huge shift here. So we need to do something to start taking more responsibility for our health. And exercise is a prime way that does so many things. So let's talk about some of the other diseases that exercise can help to prevent. Oh, there's such a wide range of them. We're looking at, at a whole lot of conditions. Hypertension, and we said type 2 diabetes. Many cancers are, are, have an increased risk because of low levels of exercise. Uh, there's a wide range of, of conditions, and just the list goes on and on and on. Like depression, depression, anxiety, and... and and osteoporosis and... <laughs> right. Um, so when you can do something simple, you know, we should always start with the simplest things first. I know when I'm thinking as a physician, what am I going to do for my patient? The first things that come to mind are what are the non-invasive safe therapies that don't have a downside? Those are all lifestyle medicine. So you're looking at diet, exercise, sleep, stress reduction, keeping your weight down, trying to reduce your toxic exposures, and having a purpose in life that brings you joy. So what type of exercise is recommended? Well, this particular study was looking at exercise that was moderate. But when you look at all the data that's been uh, produced on exercise, we know that when you exercise hard, your body gets more out of it, unless you're a weakened warrior. Of course, any kind of exercise is, is helpful. Oh. And this, especially if you do it regularly. Sure. I mean, look at the studies done on the couch potato. When they just do an hour a week of exercise they didn't do before, it reduces the number of complications they get with their health and they live longer. So these, I mean, this, this information is absolutely correct. And just think about how long it takes to be able to get back in shape if you've been sick, too. Oh, you know? big difference. And, and as you age, I mean, as we age, getting into shape <laughs> takes a lot, much, uh, a lot more effort to get into shape. As you get to 40, 50, 60, or 70, or 80, you're looking at getting out of shape much faster than when you were younger and it taking much longer to get back into shape. So it's easy to get an injury that can sideline you. So if you don't feel like it, you know, join a gym or do something to get yourself to do it. Something you like. Um, call a friend and go for a walk or join a class for sure. a dance class or a Zumba class or, or go to, go to the, the pool and go for a swim. Just sure. do something. Yeah, make it particularly something that you enjoy because if you, you might, look forward to it, you're going to do it. And not only that, you might be surprised to realize that you have more energy when you exercise than when you don't exercise. Oh, right. And a lot of your health conditions will get better. I, I look particularly at hypertension. Probably that alone can treat probably 80% of the people who have hypertension if it's done in an intelligent way. So just get up and move. <laughs> right. So when we're looking at exercise as a powerful factor to maintain wellness, 
We shouldn't take that lightly. We should all try to do something to keep us going because our bodies are made to respond to stresses. And the stress of exercise does a lot to change what we can do in terms of not just muscle strength and endurance, but all these other illnesses that we have that we can do a lot better. We just do some exercise. <laughs>